medical center's really been part of my life for most of my life. I started working there at age 13, and I guess I've been associated with the place in some degree ever since. When I started there, Clarkson was brand new. Part of it wasn't even done yet. I remember enjoying as a little boy watching the, the pile drivers and all the workmen there <clears throat> banging and, and, and working hard. I thought it looked like fun. I worked there all through high school and college, went to medical school there, and have been a volunteer teacher there for many years. I was in uh, family practice for uh, 32 years. I'm active in a lot of different things. I love to work outside. I try to fix uh, and tinker around with old clocks. I got into that shortly after I graduated from medical school. A friend of mine had a, uh, several of them, and I thought, gosh, this looks like fun. So I just started on my own tinkering with them, and it's, it's uh, now I'm called upon in the neighborhood to come look at a clock every now and then, and sometimes I can fix them. It makes me feel good. Clock doc, you could say. I just like things that move. Another thing I do is I uh, fix up and restore old uh, antique electric fans just because they move. But I've just always been fascinated with that sort of thing. I never really dreamed that uh, I would start a journey with cancer at the med center. I guess I was sicker than I thought I was. I didn't think there was anything wrong with me at all, but then that's the way doctors are sometimes. We think we're invincible. They discovered that I had a large tumor in my stomach. I got a phone call from Dr. Sasan, who told me that he thought that he could operate on it. And the thing that amazed me more than anything else was how fast everything fell into place. Uh, I was admitted to the hospital, underwent a long operation. It turned out to be what they called a gastrointestinal stromal tumor. We call it GIST for short. The prognosis originally wasn't very good. With the advent of this new drug, of course, all that changed. I was enrolled in a um, drug study with a new drug that was experimental at the time for this particular type of, uh, of cancer. And the results have been just like a miracle. I went from thinking, boy, uh, this doesn't look very good, to thinking, well, I'm going to be all right. It's a pill you take once in the morning and a variable dose at night, depending on how you're doing, and that's all I have to do. It never occurred to me that cancer could be cured, could be cured or helped with a pill. That never entered my mind. In my case, that's apparently is the only way to treat this particular uh, type of a tumor. It doesn't respond to the uh, usual chemotherapy uh, agents. It doesn't respond well to uh, radiation. The amount of research there is extraordinary, and they're making great strides. And me sitting here right now is one of those strides. Uh, there would be no way, uh, had they not diagnosed this correctly and treated it, that I would be here. You're in a hospital that is really on top of things as they occur. And that is a wonderful feeling as a patient. I can't imagine going anywhere else uh, for my own care. Uh, Dr. Sasan and Dr. Grimm, my oncologist, have been just incredible. Everybody has been, has been just wonderful. Uh, I couldn't ask for anything better. Anyone in this region at all should be very, very proud that we have a medical center that is world recognized not only in cancer but in other areas of, of patient care as well. Uh, I wouldn't uh, hesitate at all to recommend it to, to anybody. It's a wonderful place. Mm -hmm.